the guys we had and how we persevered through a lot of the things that we weren't doing during the season. So you could feel it in the locker room afterwards. You could feel it on the plane ride home. We got to have an entire two-hour flight to ourselves where it was just us partying on the freaking plane back home, man. <laughs> and it was electric. It was awesome. We had the coaches coming back to where the players were and just reminiscing on this season and enjoying every single bit of being around each other and what we had just accomplished. And that's why this one feels that much better. Being on the aisles and have a great time. Right. But like what an artist comes out and just is amongst the people. You know, this arena gave me an opportunity to be able to be closer to my fans right. because I've been, I had put out an album in almost six years, right? So now being able to reconnect in that way, you know, obviously it spun into something that became, it gave me a new uh, a new title. Yeah. Uh, I think Charlemagne the God named me like the domestic terrorist. <laughs> I'm like, bruh, I'm just, this is, a, this is actually a Usher show, right? Well, you said you can feel the energy. You can't feel the energy from them husbands and them boyfriends giving you the evil eye. Well, like, you need to back up. Nah, they actually cool. The guys that are there, you know what I'm saying? The girls, they get a little rowdy. I'm just saying, but you know, it's, don't leave your girl around me. I said, come with your girl. You know what I'm saying? Come with your daughter. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Bring your wife. Welcome to this edition of The Take. I'm your host as always, Kendra Dix here. Glad you joined us here on The Take on this Thursday, February 1st, 2024. Join in the conversation using the hashtag Take here on Connect. And don't forget, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe is caring. Tell a friend, call a friend, hit that subscribe button so you won't miss a thing here on The Take. Let's get to the big story. The big story is, will Taylor Swift play a huge role in this year's Super Bowl? We know the Super Bowl is now 10 days away. What is going to be? We know that um, Taylor Swift's boyfriend Travis Kelsey, he is a running. Uh, I think he's a um, running back for the um, Kansas City Chiefs, a wide receiver, one or two. But um, Taylor Swift's boyfriend Travis Kelsey explains. Well, we can look right here. Look at this, Travis Kelsey. Taylor Swift's embracing Travis Kelsey. You see, she's walking near in the field with Travis Kelsey's mom. And then she embraces him, and then they kind of um, have their kiss. Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey could be a power couple in the making. And how it can compare to her Swifties, her fans, and football nation. The NFL can't get enough of Taylor Swift. And we know that. Here's what Travis Kelsey had to say with his brother on their podcast. Take a look. Championships, especially with the way the whole season's gone. Feels like it's a little bit sweeter, man. I don't want to rip out anybody's heart in KC. This road to where we are now has been more of a challenge, which means you have to overcome more. It kind of means a little bit more. Although I cherish all the games that I play in Arrowhead, every single one of them, baby. This one meant a lot, man. It meant a lot because the guys we had and how we persevered through a lot of the things that we weren't doing during the season. So you could feel it in the locker room afterwards. You could feel it on the plane ride home. We got to have an entire two-hour flight to ourselves where it was just us partying on the freaking plane back home, man. <laughs> and it was electric. It was awesome. We had the coaches coming back to where the players were and just reminiscing on this season and enjoying every single bit of being around each other and what we had just accomplished. That's why this one feels that much better. It feels that way. It's been an awesome year. You know, as we talked about after the, the game, it's just one more now. Travis Kelsey is looking forward to coming back to um, returning for a Super Bowl back to back. This is unbelievable. Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift. This is going to be, a lot of people are saying this is going to be the most watched Super Bowl in history. And I bet you, your bottom dollar, you can believe that Taylor Swift is going to play an important role in this Super Bowl. And, um, how um, someone said she might move the needle. Here's what someone had to say about moving the needle. Take a look. NFL player. Oh, no, no. The NFL. Tell me of the other person that's going to do that. Wait, how many? How many? $331 million, million dollars in value. Hold on. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me think. Let me think. Who else, could, who else could move the needle like that? Wait, give me a minute. Give me a minute. I'm, let me, I'm, I'm thinking that. Let me think of somebody else can move a needle. Move the needle. Um, Ah, I got no it. one. Beyonce. If 
hypothetically speaking, if if she went with Jay Z and I'm not Travis Kelsey, let's say um Yeah, Beyonce. Beyonce. She not like needle. this. She... Not like this. These 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 yeah. eyes, these eye Ocho, these eight to fifteen That's... year old eyeballs. Ocho, she the same, the same. No, he had the Ocho. same, that same, that Ocho. same feeling. Ocho. Yes. I love Beyonce. Beyonce ain't moving the needle like this chick, Ocho. No, what? You no, tripping. you tripping, Ocho. This girl, this ass the chick. She's the closest thing. The chat. She's the closest thing to moving the needle like Michael Jackson that we've seen. This is it. Whoa, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Reel it back in a little bit, baby. Reel it back in a little bit. Beyonce moves the needle just like Taylor, if not no, more. No, she doesn't. Ask the chat, please. Ask the chat. Ask, ask the, the chat. chat, please. We put it to the chat. So make, do, do a poll. <coughs> do a poll. Because Beyonce has those same set of eyes, young, old, middle age, and old, in, including the eye. But I'm just saying, not if like the, Taylor. If, hypothetically, hypothetically not speaking, like Taylor. Beyonce would move the needle the same not way like Taylor's Taylor. doing. It would be Beyonce. Shannon Sharp saying that Taylor Swift could move the needle, and she could be moving the needle. She's more bigger than probably Beyonce, perhaps, but they're equal. But we'll see how this goes. Um, Beyonce and Taylor Swift are nothing to compare the two. They're both phenomenal um, artists of their um, genre, and they know how to use their brand and marketing themselves. So Taylor Swift and uh, Beyonce could play a pivotal role in years to come, but Taylor Swift coming up this Super Bowl might be the um, one to progress the Super Bowl even more with her fan base. You got the one in the back of her head. She's thinking about Super Bowl performance. And I think she might be thinking about Nashville, which Nashville is trying to build a new stadium, and there'll be the perfect opportunity for her to perform Super Bowl at that new stadium in Nashville. So we'll get that <laughs> down the road. All right, in celebrity news, Neil Long has joined the cast of the new biopic pit, Michael. We know that's the highly anticipated movie that's Michael Jackson's um, life. So we'll see what Neil Long's going to do. She also joins Common Domeno, who's going to play Joe Jackson. So And Javar Jackson's going to be playing his uncle, Michael. So it's going to be a really anticipated movie that everyone's going to be talking about. So we'll see how that's going to go. Speaking of that, Megan Thee Stallion returns. We know Megan Thee Stallion has a lot of backlash going on with um, Nicki Minaj fans just trying to ego on this thing as Nicki Minaj as well. Nicki Minaj, I wish she could just stop doing what she's doing, but she kind of released a new single called Bigfoot, and it went, you know, crazed. But Megan Thee Stallion announced that she is touring. Take a look. Good news. Oh, we're having the tour this year. The Hot Girl Summer Tour is going to be 2024 summertime. I feel like I've never been able to be outside doing my own thing during the summer, like since like 2019. So this is going to be the first time that I drop an album on, on time for the summer. I do want to give the hotties the Megan Thee Stallion experience. <laughs> Megan Thee Stallion announced that she's touring. So Megan Thee Stallion, her sales are going up because of her new song called Hiss. So Megan Thee Stallion making a um, play for everything she needs to go. But um, a lot of stuff. We'll talk about that on Connect Now, me and Brittany Shea, about what's going on with Megan Thee Stallion and Nicki Minaj. All right, on talk shows, talk shows. On Club Shay Shay, Shannon Sharp, um, you better known as Unk Shannon, got to talk to Super Bowl halftime performer Usher. Usher waiting for his upcoming performance in the Super Bowl. But Usher stopped by um, Shannon Sharp to talk about how he felt, how he got the role and how he got the call to do the Super Bowl. Take a look. Um, you know, man, I think that this is a legacy, right? This right. this, uh, this entire career and everything that you had to say about me, I really do appreciate it. Did I leave anything out, though? I mean, I, I became a, uh, I got a doctorate this year. Okay. So, so you got doctorate, a key to the city? Got a key to the city of Las Vegas. Became a, a doctor at Berkeley. Okay. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's it really kind of comes down to your 10,000 hours, you know what I'm saying? And if you worked hard then you should be given that opportunity. Jay-Z, he reached out to me personally. Right. Um, and um, it was... So what was that called? So what was that called? Like, okay, phone rang, you look down, it's old. Jay, I mean, you probably got it in, in your phone, it's old, but Jay, you pick up the phone, you're like, hey, I wonder what he calling me for. Okay, here's the conversation, now what? Um, 
I had an idea that he might be calling. <laughs> uh, he happened to be coming to town right. uh, in Atlanta. B was in Atlanta with the um, a tour. The tour. Mm-hmm. So every time we're in Atlanta, we play spades. Okay. Just so you know, me, him, Juan, and I have to pick my partner. You know, and then the last time they kind of gave it to me. So I'm thinking he's getting ready to call me to say, yo, pull up to, you know, the arena okay. or stadium and come get this work. <laughs> and um, nah, he was like, nah, nah, I'm not calling about spades. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm like, so uh, what, what? what's up? He was like, it's time. I, yeah. I mean, yeah, it is five o'clock in the morning. It's <laughs> what you mean, it's the knob? But um, it was early, right? You know, and uh, he, he said, you know, this is this is the magic moment. This is the Michael moment. All right, Shannon Sharp asking the hard questions for Usher. I guess it was kind of hard. But Usher saying that Jay Z gave him the call, and this was the same time while I was somewhere in Atlanta when Beyonce came to Atlanta. Those three day nights to um perform and i guess that's when the mean head started progressing that usher was chosen to become the super bowl halftime performer well it was another controversy and a scandal for usher usher had addressed the elf in the room on why he serenade women to his concert like famous women like kiki palmer and um taraji p henson well usher had described why he do what he do right here daughter whose flight was delayed wanted to be here but i'm bringing her tonight for her birthday <laughs> so when you caught a lot of flag because you know the women come and you know you come with saying, your daddy or come with your sugar daddy no 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 this or this come my, with your husband this is my actual, this is my actual <laughs> daughter i'm very protective about this one now so, i ain't got my two girls so i'm very protective of busting so don't be don't be messing around so <laughs> the, the criticism I mean, you're just having a good time. You say you got your things on. I mean, are you surprised that you've gotten the criticism and the blowback that you've received? I don't know, man. I, I just know that this juncture of my life is just about having fun. You don't even care. No, it's not that I don't care. It's that I want you to know that I'm having fun. And that is a part of me having fun. Okay. Being out in the audience amongst the fans and also to the people and feeling that energy. I don't remember the last time that I've been to a show like that. You know, mm-hmm. I know that we all feel good when we go to Frankie Beverly and we, you know, we all dress in our white. <laughs> we go out there and we enjoy each other and, in, in, you in know, in the aisles and have a great time. Right. But like what an artist comes out and just is amongst the people, you know, this arena gave me an opportunity to be able to be closer to my fans right. because I've been, I had put out an album in almost six years. Right. So now being able to reconnect in that way, you know, obviously it spun into something that became, it gave me a new, uh, a new title. Yeah. Uh, I think Charlemagne, the God named me like the domestic terrorist. <laughs> I'm like, bro, I'm just, this is, a, this is actually a Usher show, right? Well, you said you can feel the energy. You can't feel the energy for them husbands and them boyfriend giving you the evil eye. Well, like you need to back up. Nah, they actually cool. The guys that are there, you know what I'm saying? The girls, they get a little rowdy. I'm just saying, but you know, it's don't leave your girl around me. I said, come with your girl. You know what I'm saying? Come with your daughter. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Bring your wife. <laughs> but it, but yo, by, by the way, I, again, it's all in good fun. Right. And then the whole purpose and point is to bring that energy to Las Vegas. When I look out and I see my people, I see, you know, I see us doing something that I don't feel, I don't feel like it's been done here. Right. Like, the black dollar is strong in Vegas, sure. man, more than it's ever been. And the cast and the and the crew and the feeling of what this has built has been a celebration. So, you know, now nah, I didn't I don't know if I was able to even look at it uh, as a negative. And then anything that has happened in terms of the girls who came up there, rather it was Tarazi P. Ensign or you know what I'm saying, Kiki, you know, Palmer. Or- you know that woman had just had a baby and she was I mean, she wanted to get out and have a good time. You know what I'm saying? Should you not feel like... Usher saying that, hey, you bring your boyfriends, your husbands, everybody else. Don't need... They can come, but Usher saying that he's having fun. And I think that's what Usher is all about, his attitude. Usher been doing it for quite some time, so why are people not shocked nor surprised? I mean, that's how Usher is. Usher's going to do what he wants to do when he wants to do it, so... You know what I'm saying? That's how Usher is, so... No, people shouldn't be surprised nor shocked about Usher. All right. All right. We'll be back with more take. Don't go anywhere. This is the take here on Connect TV. Stay tuned. 
Welcome back to the Take. I'm your host as always, Kendrick Diggs here. Glad you can join us here on Take on this Thursday, February 1st, 2024. And like I said, this is the beginning of Black History Month. Everyone be proud of your race and you're black, strong and proud. Be proud of your race no matter what. We don't celebrate this just for one month. We celebrate this 365, one year. We celebrate all the time. Not no one month. One month does not define us. We are who we are, and we're going to stay who we are. So, uh, happy Black History Month here from us, you know, from ATV and the take. All right. We move on to the, um, yes, we, we, I guess we just move on to uh, the viral video of the week. On the viral video of the week, legendary boxer Lavandi Holyfield, yes, Lavandi Holyfield decides to um, take it to a notch. And uh, likes to hit jam with this in his pool side. Take a look. Mesothelioma. Listen carefully to this important. <laughs> Evander Holyfield getting down, and uh, you know what? But he likes to get down, and Evander Holyfield. Likes to do what he wants to do in his own hood. I guess getting knocked out for so many times, you want to have fun and do what you want to do, do it while you can. So Vander Holyfield, um, setting up the tone, setting up the uh, tempo on what he wants to do. And uh, I guess having fun is that's his leisure of what he likes to do. All right. With me, your host, Kendra Dick, says so long. Thank you for watching this edition of The Take. Like we said, we are The Take. So, We'll see you next time for another edition of The Take. See you later.